All right, guys, you're gonna have to excuse the mess. This is our lab number two. We just recently inherited this space. We finally got it. We've been trying to get it for a while, and we promptly just filled it with stuff. We've got growlers from Denton, arcade monitors on the ground, all sorts of party materials. If you walk, you look to the left, we've got banners, just various storage stuff. It is, uh, we're still kind of coming into this space. We need to build a ton of shelving. Uh, you'll see our, our current podcast room right here. Uh, if you go watch any of our podcasts, you'll see quite a few of them shot here. Uh, here's this cool little preview. I don't know if it'll come out. It'll probably come out after the uh, free play Arlington Blacklight Party, but this is our totally cool, amazing photo opportunity for that party. We've had the employees painting these guys. They were our old like 80s workout dudes and the, they were holding the lady across the front. Totally Blacklight added out. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be a great party. We've got something like 2,000 people that have, are interested in coming. It'll just be nuts. All right, so this is gonna be a bunch of new stuff that you're about to walk into. So right here, you've got our new subwoofers, you've got our new monitors. Um, like I said, we're still moving in. Then you got a Versus City here, a Versus City there, a Versus City here. And uh, this is gonna actually, this is probably the thing that's gonna annoy our competitors the most, annoy the people in the arcade business the most. This is one of our monitor rooms. Um, we need to build shelving desperately. You'll note uh, about 90 brand new monitors. Um, never used, never opened. And we've recently uh, been able to get these to work on standard resolutions, medium resolutions. They're true tricing monitors. They all require certain conversions, but they are beautiful. Not to mention a ton of parts monitors, a ton of TVs that we're using for our console events. I mean, if there's a CRT in the world, we probably want it. I probably do, at least. Um, you'll see the backs of a few pinball tables here. Uh, if you've watched our recent auction purchases, Lord of the Ring pinball next to Star Trek Next Generation pinball next to Twilight Zone pinball. Uh, one of the things you're going to learn uh, as you watch these videos is we have a ton of pinball that's not on the floor right now. And it's uh, some of it just because maintenance is really, really hard on pinball. The other is we like to rotate. We like to change things up. And we do have the Dallas Pinball Project in the background where we're going to have 40 beautiful, awesome pinball tables. And that actually just made me remember a whole nother storage that I hadn't even been thinking about as we've been talking about going through all these storages. Uh, here's a dedicated Simpsons with all Wecos, including these are Leaf Switch Wecos, beautiful stuff. Uh, Joust dedicated, Super Chase dedicated. Uh, Fighting Vipers dedicated. All right, so if you've seen our recent auction videos, and if you click the top right, we're linking it right now. Varum Multiplay System Inc. was this weird company in Central Texas that operated primarily in daycares, but that was putting these really, really cool, really rare JAMA PCBs in real cabinets. And so we ended up buying a ton of them. And you'll see some of them in here. This is kind of our, uh, uh, our operating storage right now. It's our extra space. We've got a bunch of rooms in here, various different conditions, various different awesome authentic boards. So when you see a room when I'm walking by, no, that's where it came from. It came from one of the auctions. We bought it for the PCB, maybe a couple other parts. Uh, and it's, it's probably the best deal in all of arcade stuff right now. Uh, let's see, this is a Terminator 2 pinball. Uh, one of our marking signs, the Shirts from a podcast. If you go watch the shirt podcast, I don't even know what that is. I don't know where it came from. I don't know why we have it. That's a gambling machine. We'll destroy it shortly. The monitor actually looks pretty good, so I, that's probably why we have it. Here's the Moon Cresta, the centipede from the auction. Um, these are just extra shirts we have. These are all brand new shirts down here. PCBs, PCBs. We've got a ton of boards here, and here's kind of something that's really cool. It's a hidden dr Dragon's Lair 1 Laserdisc, original Laserdisc player, uh, working beautifully. You'll see the, the cabinet it goes to soon. We've got a lot of Dragon's Lair plans. Uh, CPS2 uh, motherboard, and then we've got some recent cocktails, recent cocktail Popeye, Tapper, Bubbles, Pac-Man, APB, uh, I think this is Demolish Fist. Some of our growlers for our uh, location, another CPS2, that's uh, Vampire Savior. Uh, extra tables, I mean, to be honest, we've been kind of using this space for anything that can fit. Uh, Operation Wolf right here, we've got, you'll see three or four of these during the tour. And we're currently running an Operation Thunderbolt at Arlington. That might be all we ever get. 
Uh, I love Operation Wolf, uh, but a single player big gun game takes up a lot of space. Burn Evil, it's been harvested for the guns. Uh, big Book Hunter Pro coming to Arlington soon. Another Versus City, another Joust. Um, it, it's really amazing because in this job, I always thought this is exactly what I wanted. And now to actually have it, it's it, it's hard to even put into words how amazing it is just to walk through this stuff. Our parts, Naomi, Stand Up Crazy Taxi, our Rocky Boys we recently fixed, beautiful working Stun Runner. Um, another one of the Varum games. I think that's another Varum game. This was a Crystal of Kings that came to Let's Play that it had to turn to a Tetris in the middle of it. Uh, Raiden DX. Hey, and here's the other Rusty Rock I was talking about. Uh, heavy Barrel working fine. A little rough. It has some cigarette burns and whatnot. Another versus City. And then just a weird parts cabinet that I don't know what it is. Uh, pretty soon you're gonna see us start to liquidate some of stu the stuff like this. I have no idea where this wood came from. It's just wooden metal. We don't really need it. Um, it just appeared one day because we buy way too many arcade games. All right, and as you're gonna see in these videos, we're gonna have to kind of crawl into some uncomfortable spots. Uh, we've got more monitors here. I'm gonna climb over. I'm touching Gal's Panic 2, which we brought to Let's Play. It did pretty well there. We're gonna try to figure out, because Gal's, Pan Gal's Panic 2, we've got a YouTube video. Check out our game of the week for Gal's Panic 2. It's in the top right of your screen right now. One of the best all-time kickstyle games, and uh, we're gonna figure out a way to get it out there in the world more. Uh, we got a Mortal Kombat 2 just over there. It's beautiful. We're getting tight. We got Burger Time right here. Another Varum. Another Sunset Rider, still with the original Wiko joysticks. We've got a gold medalist in a gauntlet cab. This was a launch game for Free Play Richardson. And we're climbing over. We're trying to get back here. All right, so right here we have the Galaga from the most recent auction. Uh, I believe this is another Karate Champ, so people are really going to kill us. Uh, a track in the field in beautiful condition. Another tournament, Cyberball, a Play Choice 10. We just recently bought at auction. A, uh, what is that? Okay, we've got a Missile Command, one of the best Missile Commands I've ever seen right there. A Shinobi, we just took the Let's Play. And guys, don't try this at home, I'm climbing up. All right, we've got a Dragon's Lair back there. We've got another baby pack um, bordering that versus. It's really, really amazing because these are games that like we hoped people would play and now we're just acquiring them in bulk. Um, another Mortal Kombat 2, it's just, it's amazing. And a uh, gold medalist, I don't even know, or a Birdie King 2, I don't think I mentioned earlier. Rare title game that was made rare because uh, Tapper used the exact ch same chipset. So most of the Birdie Kings got destroyed for Tapper. And now we have an original dedicated one just sitting here in a warehouse waiting for its time to go out into the world. Uh, we're really, really lucky, and we're really excited to just share these games with the world. All right, guys, so just to get better shots, we're moving games around, and somehow in this awesome warehouse, I missed the Polaris. We just bought it at auction, uh, and if you recall, it's fully working, a dedicated cabinet. Um, uh, it's just really, really amazing to have the chance to play these games, much less own them and have them in a free play arcade. So look for Polaris. We're going to try to get it out. We're going to put it next to a bunch of cool title cabs, probably title cabs you'll see in this video. Um, but yeah, we are moving games around. Surprise, there's a Polaris. Really awesome. All right, guys, behind me, we have almost 100 new old stock 19 inch CRTs. Uh, free play is working every single day to make sure you guys have the best arcade in the world. Um, and so we're really, really pumped. I'm glad y'all watched these videos. I'm glad you've seen some of our warehouses. We're gonna keep walking through all of our warehouses. You're gonna see just about everything we own. Uh, we're not holding anything back. We just want you to see how much we're working and how much we want to have the best arcade in the absolute world.